Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on Toonie Tears. This right here is in fact the latest part of the collection. I end up getting Chucky along with Tiffany. They were in a package. And obviously I got Pinhead here with the Lament configuration. It is very similar to the Mezco figure. Obviously the Mezco figure is a lot bigger. And that one cost me like 60 bucks at the time when I purchased it. But it is about 12 inches tall. It's a pretty decent size uh, figure. But anyway, we're going to talk about these guys right now. And um, once I get done with that, I'll show you what I have mask-wise. As well as what's in the room itself. I'm going to give you like a quick walkthrough, okay? But anyway, let's talk about Chucky. Now, Chucky is a hard one to keep standing. But anyway, that is Chucky. As you can see, his face. They did a really nice job on this thing. Turn him all the way around. He's got a crack in his crack. No, he's, got, he's got a cracked butt, okay? Because in the uh, third movie, I think it was? Yeah. He got torn apart by that fan. And obviously, they put him back together. And Tiffany brought him back. And, you know, the usual stuff. But anyway, that's what she, it looks like. It's got some nice details. The accessories that come with this particular figure is just a knife, okay? Now, keep in mind, these are Toonie Terrors. You won't get a bunch of accessories. There are a few exceptions, but in most cases, one or two pieces if you're lucky, okay? But anyway, that is Chucky, okay? There's no holes in the bottom of these feet, so you can't put them on the neck of stands. Because they're too small, alright? Now, put him off to the side, show you Tiffany. Jennifer Tilly's character, okay? Move my hand out of the lighting there. And that's what she looks like. She's actually smoking a cigarette like she does in a movie okay she's got gorgeous blonde hair well in this case yellow but anyway that is tiffany and it's got some writing on it on the base of it this one's an easier one to stand just like uh pinhead now pinhead in himself has a lament configuration it's not highly elaborate, but it is kind of weird the way they built it. As you can see, it's got little holes in the bottom of it. And on the opposite side, also a hole. And here you got a little bit of detail. Get my hand out of there. Okay. And over here, some more details. Like I said, it's not a highly detailed uh, figure. I mean, um, cube. In this case, Lament Configuration. But anyway, that's the Lament Configuration. I got a full-size Lament Configuration that I bought off of Etsy years ago. It's very cool looking. It's made of solid wood, too. Okay, Pinhead. Alright, what's up with the lighting? I think I'm getting in the way or something. But anyway, that's what it looks like. Now, the head does move. It's got a little bit of articulation to it. Arms do move up and down, okay? Same with this one here. Alright. It's a little stiff, alright? Body's got nice detail to it. Face does too. Now the base of it, he's got some tools. Alright. The base of it is like, just like uh, Tiffany's, solid. It's got the NECA emblem and everything on it. Okay, let's set him back up. These are the latest collection of Toonie Terrors that I have. I've got a bunch of them, which I'm going to show you here in a second. If I can get Chucky to stay standing. Whoa. Boom. Anyway, I'll get him to stand. <clears throat> Anyway, let me give you a kind of a, like a mini walkthrough of what I got so far. I'm going to pick the camera up so you can get an idea. So let's just go over here to the tree. And start from the bottom. All right. And I put masks on this tree here. And it does light up. It's 250 uh, light bulb pre-lit. And it cost me like $150 for it. Okay. Yeah, the, the lumens light right there is really bright. Now up here on the ceiling... As you can see, I got a lot of Frankensteins because I love Frankenstein. The creature from the Black Lagoon. 
okay? And then down here I got some uh, bobbleheads and some body knockers. All horror figures here. Because the shelf was a little bit smaller, I decided to go ahead and put my Funko Pops along with my Toonie Terrors on this shelf. Okay, hang on for a second here, guys, so I can see what I'm doing here. All right, you get an idea what I got there on the shelf. Okay. Down here are some masks. Jason Voorhees. Now, this is actually um, um, not Ghoulish Productions, but Ruby's. It's okay looking, but the mask is absolutely huge. Now, I'm talking about the hood, okay? Uh, the mask in itself is a really cheap uh, rendition of it, and the strap was broken on the one, so I had to glue it. I mean, I think they come in like that. I don't know why, but, but they come in defective. But anyway, long story short, this mask is way too big, even for someone with a big head. All right, moving on. As you can see, I got Season of the Witch. And some clowns. Down here, I got some uh, forest um, druids type masks. As well as my Return of the Living Dead, which I will talk about here in a second. And I got some demons. And down here I've got a few more masks. You can barely see them. And then over here are my ceramics. Alright. Now, this thing right here is my witch. It is the latest edition because I love Halloween. And I got this from um, Lakeside Collections. For like 60 bucks I think it was. It makes sound effects and lights up. The eyes light up and stuff. But, um. It literally took two months to get in because they were out of stock at the time I wanted to get it in. And then it was like around Halloween. It would have been perfect, but it didn't come in until literally about a week and a half ago. That's how long it took. But anyway, I got some Jason Voorhees masks. Okay. And I got a few things over here, as you can see. Day of the Dead. All right. And you can see I got some witchy stuff. I mean, I got quite a bit of stuff here. Right there. I love the uh, Plague Doctor masks. I got two of them up in the corner up there. But anyway, let me go ahead and end this here. You get a guy, good idea of what I got in this room so far. Okay, this is in fact the latest uh, part of my collection for the Toonie Terrors. Okay, guys? Alright, now what's coming in the mail? I got four separate packages coming in, and they're all from Big Bad Toy Store, with the exception of. Um, uh, the Retro Agogo masks, they are vintage vacuum form masks, and they come in large, they're literally almost 40 inches, they're wall mounted. I've got the mini versions of those coming in, I think I've got the Frankenstein, the Bride of Frankenstein, and I believe it's one of the stall ones, kind of looks like the Day of the Dead, I think one of them is coming in, I'm not positively sure, but they are due to come in any time now. Um, but I also have two butcher knives coming in from Michael Myers Halloween, the 1978 version. That's a gorgeous looking knife from Trick or Treat Studios. Uh, the Halloween 4 Revenge of Michael Myers, that butcher knife is coming in too. It is very similar to the 1978 with a few exceptions. We'll get into that once it comes in. And I also ordered the, um, the 1978 Halloween poster prop knife. Now that should be coming in next month, okay? But I have two other masks that are coming in, which are from the movie Ghoulies. Okay, that's Ghoulies 2, the fish mask. I've got that one coming in. And I also have the trash zombie mask coming in, which is part of that right there. You see the Mohawk zombie there, green one? Okay, he's part of the Return of the Living Dead, but he's not in the movie at all. Uh, he's part of the poster art. Um... What you see when the poster art, you see the zombie, the Mohawk zombie behind the tombstone. And then there's a female version. They made a concept uh, mask based off of that poster, which I thought was really cool. When I first discovered that mask was um, this YouTuber. He kind of did a walkthrough with all his masks, and I noticed it on his wall. And I'm like, holy shit, i got to get me one of them. So I looked it up, and I ordered one. So, long story short, there you go. I have... Uh, trash zombie mask coming in from Trick or Treat Studios. That should be here any day now. We'll definitely do a video on that. That one I like because I love the color scheme and the way she looks. Obviously she was in the movie. She uh, dreamt about being bit down by or 
you know, bit by old men. Well, she got a wish, okay? And then she turned into that zombie, and that's what, that's the mask that's coming in. Now, this mask right here is a Jordu shell mask. That is ridiculously detailed. Fantastic job on that design. I do want to get, uh, there's two other masks from Jordu shell that is sitting on Big Bad Toy Store. I do want to get the hybrid which is an alien uh, type mask. The other one I'm a little iffy about, the demon. I'm not sure about that one. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it. That's what's coming in. The retro go-go masks are coming in. The two other masks are coming in, and along with the two butcher knives. So we're going to be doing some videos once those are coming in. Okay? But in the meantime, I'm going to end this here. This is Pumpkin Horror. You guys have yourselves a good day.